אנחנו מטילים מצור מוחלט על העיר עזה. אין חשמל, אין מזון, אין מים, אין דלק. הכל סגור. אנחנו נלחמים בחיות אדם ואנחנו נוהגים בהתאם. Late October, you had referred to the fact that the administration is not drawing any red lines for Israel. As the death toll for civilians in the Gaza Strip has gone up, I wanted to ensure, is that still the case, that the administration has no red lines at all? <laughs> that is still the case. Okay. We have been very clear about where we stand on this, which is innocent civilian lives should not be intentionally targeted, and that Israel must do more to protect innocent life in Gaza and innocent civilians in Gaza. And we've been very clear about that and we continue to make that point. Are the airstrikes in Yemen working? Well, when you say working, are they stopping the Houthis? No. Are they going to continue? Yes. There is some movement and I don't want to, I don't want to, well, maybe choose my words. There's some movement. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the, there's been a response from the opposition, but, um, it, it, yes, I'm sorry, from Hamas, but it seems to be uh, a little over the top. We're not sure where it is. There's a continuing negotiation right now. Israel told him that they will no longer ex uh, allow honor war convoys to enter northern Gaza. I mean, if we add to this uh, that there are so many uh, incidents where Israeli fired on people queuing for uh, aid in northern Gaza, do you, uh, do you still believe, or do, is it still the U.S. assessment that uh, Israel is not using food or assistance as a tool of war? So we have not made an assessment or drawn the conclusion that they are in violation of international humanitarian law when it comes to the provision of humanitarian assistance into Gaza.